Good morning class. Today we are going to learn about the language of chemistry. To begin with the understanding of the language of chemistry, let us first understand what do we mean by chemistry. Chemistry is a branch of science that deals with the study of matter. That is, what it is made up of, what is its nature and the structures that it assumes, etc. Alright, to understand matter, we should know this thing that matter is made up of molecules. Alright, like for example, I have taken over here carbon dioxide and molecules are made up of, of atoms. Example, you can see over here, the carbon dioxide is made up of what? One atom of carbon and two atoms of oxygen. Now, when one atom of, car of carbon combines with what, two atoms of oxygen, it makes up carbon dioxide. Now, there must be a question arising in your heads that what is matter makes, uh, makes up? Well, matter makes up substances. Substances are of two types, pure substance and an impure substance. What is a pure substance? Pure substance are those substances that is made up of only one kind of an atom mole or molecules. An impure substance are those substances that is made by a mixture of two or more substances together. But the proportion is never fixed. Whereas, let us come to the pure substance. Pure substance is further divided into two categories. Elements and compounds. Elements are those substances which is made up of only one kind of an atom. Example, you can see over here iron and neon that are given over here. Fe stands for iron and Ne stands for neon. Whereas a compound is made up of two or more elements combined together in a fixed proportion. Like for example carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is combined by one atom of carbon and two atoms of oxygen. And when the combination takes place, they form what? Carbon dioxide. Now let's understand about element. Now we already know this thing, elements are made up of only one kind of an atom. It cannot be further decomposed into simpler substances, right? But what we need to understand over here is that elements can be in a single atomic state or it can be a multiple atomic state depending on whether the element is reactive or not. Now the number of atoms of in a molecule of an element is called as an atomicity. All right. So atomicity, according to atomicity, we can divide elements into different categories. It can be a monoatomic element. For example, these substances basically lives in a single unit or one unit. Example, iron, aluminium, cobalt, copper, etc. Similarly, noble gases can also be in a monoatomic state because they don't need to combine with the other atoms to form a stable electronic configuration. Whereas, diatomic elements are those substances which will exist in at a molecular state where it combines with itself all right you can see it's here oxygen o2 all right so therefore it is a diatomic state where two atoms of oxygen combines together to form a molecule triatomic elements comprises of three example is ozone and tetraatomic is phosphorus p4 now we have already learned that the elements are made up of atoms, right? Now what is atom made up of? That is another big question. Now basically atom comprises of different sections you can see over here. First one is its nucleus, alright? Which comprises of protons which is which is represented over here is as blue beads and neutrons which is, compo uh, which is expressed as red beads over here. And it is also comprises of electrons which revolves around the nucleus in its fixed orbit. So class, you must be wondering that what is the role of electrons in an atom? Well, electrons is involved in chemical reactions. Not all the electrons though. Only the last shell. In this case, it is a second shell. You can see this shell. Now this shell would be involved in the chemical reaction. This shell is called as a valence shell or now another question should be there that how does a reaction takes place? Well reaction can take place if the electrons from the valence shell is either lost, gained or shared. Well 
in the next video we will learn about how these re chemical reaction takes place and how does it forms different ions. We will also learn about valencies.